Hi, welcome to the channel. I've actually not played my Custodians that much recently because of how I felt overpowering an opponent with the 9th edition codex. I've continued adding to my army getting ready for 10th and taking inspiration from lots of people on Instagram, giving them all nameplates. So perhaps 10th is going to be the time to come back out for me. Well, in this video, I'm going to talk about the biggest winners and losers from the index. Some things of note. The Forge World models for Custodians are not going to Legends, which is excellent, but their data sheets and points are still not available. The Sisters of Silence are in this index as well. Everything is tougher. They're the toughest infantry models in the game, and that makes sense. The basic Custodius troops are toughness 6. All infantry has deep strike. The army is pretty melee focused. Their faction ability is to pick one of three buffs at the start of the fight phase. Minus one to hit, sustained hits or lethal hits. Everything has a 4 plus feel, no pain against mortal wounds. And in this devastating wounds meta, this is super powerful. The basic stat line though is still 2 plus armor and 4 plus influence saves. Most squads can take a Vexilla to increase the OC by 1. Pretty useful for small elite squads. And Guardian Spears are looking like the best damage output weapon when given the choice. To start off with the winners then, the Blade Champion. One of the best leader units in the Index. He only has melee, but he's pretty good with three different options, like in 9th. They're just variations depending on what you want to hit, no special abilities as such. And he has the usual stat line for Custodius model, T6, 2 plus save, 4 plus invulnerable. The reason to take this guy as a leader is he gives the unit a reroll to advance and charge rolls. And then once per battle, that unit can advance and charge. He also allows the unit to heroically intervene with the core strat for 0 CP. You can bring three of these and he's an auto include. Custodian Guard. A brilliant battle eye unit that goes well with the Blade Champion. They have a spear or sword and shield. The spear is longer range shooting at 24 inches and strength 7 2 damage melee. But the shield makes the bear of 4 wounds not 3. And that could be key as most Terminator killing weaponry is 3 damage. Someone can also trade their weapon for a Vexilla which improves the unit's OC from 2 to 3. So in small units of elite troops that will really help take objectives. They're pretty good at dealing damage, they get to reroll wounds of one, and while the unit is on an objective, it gets to reroll all wounds. So hitting on twos with rerolls to wound, nice. Once per battle, the unit can shoot twice just because, and that tops things off nicely. Alaris Custodians, the scary golden terminators, now toughness seven, the old toughness of a rhino. Carrying Castellan axes now up to three damage, which is good. They do trade an attack and weapon skill for that strength nine weapon, but they still hit on threes. Whenever they attack a character, monster or vehicle, then they get to reroll all wounds. So any unit with a leader will have the character keyword, so that will be triggering this to reroll all wounds. They're smacking hard. Like other Terminators, they move 5, but once per battle they can teleport across the board, staying 9 inches away from your opponent models. They do this at your end of your opponent's turn and arrive in your next turn. Golden Killers jumping all over the board will help win games. Trajan Valoras, down from 200 points in 9th to 145 points, and that's only 20 points more than a normal shield captain. Being the boss he is, he keeps his 5 plus feel no pain. His damage output is great. Everything is 3 damage, that includes his shooting, which is up from his previous profile. He'll lead a battle line squad and his leader abilities is to allow that unit to ignore all modifiers to characteristics or roles. So things can't modify their move, their charge, their toughness won't reduce with death guard. He's really powerful. He keeps his moment shackle ability, it has changed in this edition, but it's still great. Still only once per battle, but will come in clutch. Either double his own attacks to 12 with his beastie axe, give himself a 2 plus invun, or give him and the unit he's with fights first. And we know how super powerful that is this edition. Valerian. Down in points a little and gains a 6 plus feel no pain. Some good damage output on for the unit he leads. Melee attacks against them have their AP reduced by 1. In addition with APs reduced across the board and against 2 plus save custodians, this is really impactful. Once per turn he can reroll a hit, a wound and a save. And even more, once per battle he can turn a hit, a wound or a save to a 6. Now for the biggest losers, you'll see a trend here. Shield Captain and Alaris Terminator Armour. 120 points on his own, almost the same as two Alaris Terminators, but he has the same stat line and the weapon just has two more attacks in melee. His abilities don't really make a big difference for the unit he leads. He personally fights on death, and once per battle gets to use a strat for free, but it's the strategic mastery ability which all Shield Captains have, and the army gets to do this only once. I feel this guy really isn't worth it and not helping the Terminators out that much. And now another shield captain, this one on Dawn Eagle Jetbike. Previously one of the best HQs and potentially an auto take, now he's struggling to get picked. Fly has generally been downgraded this edition and his movement is down to 12, but most things have become a little slower in the game. He's expensive for the only ability he gives his squad of consolidating 6 inches not 3, but once per battle he can give that unit a free move at the end of the fight phase and that's nice extra movement. Shooting has been massively nerfed on the jet bikes in general, which was their powerhouse in 9th. You do want one shield captain somewhere to get the strategic mastery ability as mentioned, but probably not this guy. Go for a normal shield captain, the only one that's left. He has a cool ability to stack the Katars on a squad, 
which can be really effective. It really feels like the Custodian Battle Eye units are where it's at in this edition, and with the Alaris Terminators jumping all over the board. I'm looking forward to seeing the Forge Wall units, and I think it's only likely to jump the Custodians up in the meta. Let me know what you think about the faction. I'll see you in soon. Bye.